At midnight on December 21st, the border between Slovakia and Ukraine will become an outpost of the Schengen area. Until recently, the EU regarded the frontier, about 100 kilometers long, as one of its loosest. Most of those who try to cross the border illegally come from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh or Moldova. The majority of them are heading further west to richer countries. Slovakia remains a transit country. Brand new quad bikes, skidoos and SUVs. Thanks to EU funds, nearly 900 Slovak police officers have been fully equipped with ultra-modern technology. We now have thermographic cameras, infrared cameras and new monitoring systems. This is one of the safest borders in Europe now, with cameras that allow us to see migrants as soon as they cross it and to catch them immediately. <laughs> On average, 10 illegal migrants are now arrested every day. Those not sent back to Ukraine or to their home country are dispatched to centers recently modernized with EU money. If they apply for asylum in Slovakia, they cannot submit a request in any other European country. Basically, I want to get asyl in Slovakia and live forever in Slovakia. And I shall arrange in Bratislava some business and I shall look after my parents, my sister and brothers in Pakistan. Though a bit unclear as yet, procedures are now under independent control. In September, we signed a tripartite agreement between the UNHCR, obviously, the uh, Slovak uh, government and an NGO, the Human Rights League, uh, to make sure that we have access to all the facilities, to make sure that we can monitor which people are coming, what reasons they have to come here, and whether those who are searching asylum, whether those people can access the procedure. However, the Slovak authorities rarely grant refugee status. Nearly 3,000 requests were made last year. Only eight were accepted.